Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Wednesday, June 1st. And I remind you that daily messages and lots of great stuff are at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. Join us every Sunday at 1030 a.m. for worship. My scripture today is John 7, verse 38. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. This is the word of the Lord. Now, before I give my message, it is June 1st, and that is my beautiful wife's birthday. And so, Susie, wherever you are and however you are listening to this video, happy birthday with love and blessings from your husband. Now, we return to our regularly scheduled program already in progress. Did you see in the news that Israel is now one of the leading countries in the world in terms of water reserves and sustainability. Now, it wasn't so just a few years ago. The levels of the Sea of Galilee had dropped precipitously because they were pumping out more water than was raining or flowing in. Now, I think many parts of our country could learn from what Israel did. First, you know all about drip irrigation and how it saves much of the water that's used agriculturally. The problem is it's expensive to implement. So in Israel, they had about 70% of the farms were on drip irrigation. Well, they subsidized it with different governmental programs so that now over 90% of agricultural interest are using drip irrigation. But that wasn't all they did. They went ahead and set up desalination plants up and down the coast of the Mediterranean. Now it's expensive to extract water from the sea and it's expensive to pipe it. But because they were continually experimenting and being innovative, they learned with each installation how to save money and still have a proper and reliable structure in place. Well, now they've done such a good job that the Sea of Galilee has risen up to historical heights and they're afraid now they may have to let some water out and they are producing about 120% of the water they need every day. Now, we have many challenges concerning water in our country, especially in the Southwest. And I pray that we will have vision to reach solutions for our problems as well. But it also reminds me that the flow of living water may not be as noticeable in our lives as it has been in the past. Some of us have been bogged down by the pandemic others perhaps by the aging process, or sometimes we just drift a little. We've forgotten how sweet is the taste of Christ's living word, the living water that sustains us and refreshed us. Come and join us for worship. Open your Bible. Pray diligently. Remember how sweet is the taste of living water. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the water that you give us. We know if we trust in you, we will never thirst. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.